if you eat Ghanaian egg before a Ghanaian, in fact, you will regret doing so because Kwame Nkrumah's birthday, they have a lot of heroes that they celebrate. Destiny will overcome, though I am not afraid. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on your bell notification so that each time I upload, you're going to be the first to know. Thank you to all my amazing subscribers. You guys are the best. I appreciate your love and your support. God bless so you. So in today's video, I'm going to share things that you don't know about Ghana or Ghanaians. So the number one thing that I'm going to be mentioning is Ghanaians. Ghanaians, okay. So we Nigerians, we call them Ghanaians. It's not Ghanaians. If you want to call a Ghanaian, hey, even me, I still make that mistake. But Ghana comes first before the I A N S, right? But we Nigerians, we think that it's Ghanaians. We we'll remove that A, and then we add the I A N S, right? If I'm if I'm getting it correctly, but it's actually. Ghanaians, Ghanaians, okay, it's not Ghanaians, Ghanaians, but when you call it, when you mention it very fast, you can mention it like Ghanaians, but Nigerians tend to make that mistake of calling it Ghanaians, Ghanaians, so yeah, so I've been on this boat too, but living in Ghana, I've gotten a lot of corrections about this before, I just put Ghanaians, Ghanaians, <laughs> this is what it is, so the second thing that I'll be talking about is Ghanaian food, in Ghana, they have fufu and a lot of people think it's Ghana fufu fufu just like we mentioned it in Nigeria fufu but then that is not the correct way in Ghana it is called fufu like the pronunciation is a little different from when you are writing it okay say fufu is spelled f-u-f-u-o f-u-f-u-o while in Nigeria we call it fufu so if you are calling fufu in Ghana you might think that the spelling and the pronunciation are the same, but no, they are not the same. It's pronounced fufu while it's written as fufu, F-U, F-U-O, fufu. And then the way the, the pronunciation is different, that is actually how the preparation and everything that goes with it is different. The next one I'm going to be talking about is soup okay when you come to nigeria and you mention soup let's say i go see soup or want soup okra soup um or a soup and so many soup what will come to your mind is something thick right when you call soup in nigeria we are referring to something thick something you can use for your swallow but then in ghana whenever you mention soup just know that it's something light we have light soup and palm nut soup we have okra soup and okra stew we have uh Ghanaians have a lot of soups they have this they're not soup in fact there are so many soups in ghana whenever you heard soup in ghana just know that it's something very light okay but then in nigeria when you hear stew just know that it's going to be a light stuff stew that i use for you can use stew for your rice, you can use for yams and, and so many of them. Um, but then, when you mention stew in Ghana, it's meant to be thick, like thick. If you have eaten Ghanaian stew, typical Ghanaian stew, like the stew that they use in eating their wache, the white rice, and the rest of them, you, you will notice that their stew are always thick, more than Nigerian stew. This is because... They are still um, meant to be Nigerian soups while our soup is their stew. The real truth of this matter is when you are looking for a definition of stew, stew is something that is thick, all right? And soup is something that is light because stew is supposed to be thick and soup is supposed to be light. But while in Nigeria, Nigerian soups are thick while they are still uh, light but so in this contest i'm going with ghana the nigerians change your way so the next thing i have here is garden egg uses of garden egg so in ghana garden eggs are used for soups okay? they have a lot of soups that they prepare soup and stew okay that they prepare with garden egg but in nigeria in as much as we have that garden egg sauce okay but then in nigeria Typical Nigerian usage of Ghanaian egg is for eating it. We chew it like a vegetable. 
we eat it. In fact, we have granules. We can eat it with granules. You can eat it with um, peanut butter. You can eat it. It's you know you can just eat it like that, just like you're eating cucumber, right? So this is how we eat garden egg. Garden egg is it's rich in Nigerian culture. Culture can never be complete without garden egg. Igbo culture. So in the Igbos, you are expected to serve your visitors garden egg or cola nut. <laughs> garden egg have this very important position in our culture. So garden egg is for eating you serve your visitors garden egg and they can eat it with peanut butter or they can eat it with granules but if you try eating garden egg raw garden egg before a Ghanaian you will regret doing so because their reactions everything about them like you even get irritated like how oh, am i even doing this are you sure what i'm eating is the correct thing <laughs> because they will ask you questions why are you eating that? They will squeeze their face and ask you, why are you eating candy egg? Why are you eating candy egg? You'll be confused like, is it poison that I'm eating? But yeah, they are doing this because they are used to cooking it. They cook it, they use it in preparation of their food and soup stew and soup. So when you are in Ghana and you want to eat candy egg, eat with caution so that you won't attract negative vibes around you, right? Ghanaians don't eat raw garden eggs they use it in preparation of their food while nigerians we eat it and we enjoy it it even have a place in our culture so it's not going anywhere any soon so one of the things that i want to share with you that you don't know about ghana is there are a lot of holidays in ghana ah, ah, living in ghana i realized that ghanaians don't play with holidays they have founders day they have farmers day and then on this day so many business owners don't open their businesses like it's a resting day for everyone and just unlike in nigeria when you say we are having um, independence day it won't stop people from doing their businesses we love money like that but in ghana once it's called holidays just know that whoever that works for you will not come to work okay unless under agreement that you already agreed with them they, are, they will be working on this day aside that just know that your employees they will not come to work okay because it's holidays people rest on holidays and they have lots of holidays they celebrate birthdays of their past presidents in fact when i heard this i was like ah, ah. they have there's a you just see uh, we are holidays today is holidays and you'll be like ah, what are we celebrating what's the holidays about and then you'll be told that oh it's founders day or it's the birthday of the ex-president or one of the presidents of ghana are you serious it's not like that in nigeria in sense, but it kind of don't put much effort in celebrating people that way i think nigeria should actually learn this pattern of celebrating their past heroes Ghanaians are good in celebrating their past heroes this so hero's birthday hero this this person mahama's birthday um kwame Krumah's birthday they have a lot of heroes that they celebrate their birthday and whenever they are celebrating it it's a holiday you understand so i guess you don't know this about ghana and i also have they celebrate even dead people's birthday like people the the people that we are once their president or once contributed something to ghana but now they are late whenever that they are that is supposed to be their birthday ghanaians will celebrate them i think this is inspiring okay at least if you are contributing to your country you know that you will not be forgotten that you will be remembered even in death I love it the next and final one that i'll be sharing is peanut butter okay peanut butter if you're watching and you were in nigeria forgive me okay i still have ghana intonation on my tongue okay it's haven't gone yet so i'm just using it whenever i have to use it so it's peanut butter in nigeria peanut butter but yeah in ghana it's peanut butter so butter 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 <laughs> So peanut butter in, in Ghana are used like they ground it and they package it for people who are using it for peanut soup, right? Okay, and this peanut butter they do not add anything. I think they add, add maybe salt or something. The first time I bought peanut butter in Ghana, I was in regret because 
it wasn't what I was expecting, okay? It was beyond my expectations. I was expecting to see the same peanut butter that I used in Nigeria. Then buying it, I tested it. It was tasteless. It was just granite, nothing, no pepper, no spices, nothing. But peanut butter in Nigeria is actually rich with you see you it's spicy, okay? And then it's tasty. You can actually use it to you can use it to eat bread, okay? I know Ghanaians will say mm, we are doing because we are doing we copied our own from the Western world, okay? But we Nigerians, it's our way. We don't we did not copy this one. This is our own. We love spicy things. We love spicy food. Yeah, so our peanut butter is spicy. If you're a Ghanaian, I will ask that you should try Nigerian peanut butter. I know you will love it. Use peanut butter to eat garden egg in nigeria you can use it to eat bread you can use it to eat your snacks okay but then in ghana i realized they use it as if they are peanut soup and granite soup and a lot of other dishes okay this is where i'm going to be stopping this video today if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up please give my video a thumbs up it goes a long way okay till i see you again on my next one don't forget i love you so so much Mwah. Bye. Like a fever